it's a, it's a strange, unconventional thing. 15-year-old Jackson Garcia underwent such a unique procedure that it had never been done on a child in El Paso before. His doctor and mother hope it opens the door for other children. This is the Lorax. We love this book. The library at Dr. Aldo Maspon's clinic in West El Paso was created after Jackson donated all the books he grew up reading to the doctor he credits for saving his life. I grew up with those books and um, I thought maybe other kids, kids could have them because sometimes kids get scared of the doctors. Jackson has been Dr. Maspon's patient since he was 10. If he wasn't my doctor, I don't think I would be here today. The doctor is seeing him for a variety of conditions targeting his digestion. It's, it's common for somebody to have one disease, but it's not common for people to have two diseases, especially in kids. Jackson developed allergies to every food, making eating nearly impossible. For seven months straight, he only ate broth with chicken and rice. I ate it morning, lunch, and dinner, that's it. Just the soup. Then Jackson developed C. diff. If it's like a monster virus, basically, it, it, it wouldn't go away. We did antibiotics, we did all these other things that just wouldn't go away. The potentially deadly infection in the stomach and intestines often means losing your colon. Jackson struggled to eat, losing 20 pounds. He was in so much pain, he could hardly get out of bed. So I was really, really sick. I was in bed. I mean, I was pale. I, I was like, I was just feeling horrible, vomiting, all this stuff. I mean, he just didn't want to live sometimes. The solution? Remove the C. diff virus from Jackson's body. Seems simple enough, but it's a procedure that raises some eyebrows. The insurance companies uh, and um, some places, some institutions in the city were very hesitant to start uh, something called a fecal microbial transplant, which is basically getting poop stool from a healthy person um, and then putting it into Jackson. The healthy stool donation would end up coming from Melissa Garcia, Jackson's mom. The goal was to get her son's body to start creating healthy bacteria. With traditional medicines not working, mom was all for it. I was a little <clears throat> still uh, unnerved with the fact that I was going to be putting my stool into his colon, but I had complete trust and faith in Dr. Muspones. Today, Jackson is cured less than a year after his first procedure, but his mother tells me it only took hours for her to notice improvement in her son. Jackson woke up with a different um, demeanor. He's been symptom free for now a year, where before we spent a whole almost a year battling this, this uh, infection. This is the first time in five years that he has no belly pain. So not only did it help with the C. diff, but I think it helped stabilize his his diagnosis of Crohn's. Dr. Ms. Bones is convinced he's not a hero. From his perspective, he's just doing his job and he's happy to help. Just because it's not necessarily the most common thing, it's the right thing. Uh, and so we just, we shouldn't be afraid. Mom says she hopes her ordeal gives hope to others struggling with C. diff. Had it not been for him taking the initiative and overcome these challenges from the stigma of an FMT, I mean, like I said, I don't, I honestly believe my son would not be here today. She says the procedure not only gives him a new lease on life, it's also adding a variety to his meals. He has a very strict diet, but this has allowed me to add more food in different combinations. She's worked so hard and she sacrificed a lot to be able to, you know, get me to eat. And she didn't, she didn't give up on me. Mom even creates natural oils and creams to help treat Jackson's pain, something she now makes available to others also suffering from pain. Susie Castillo, KTSM 9 News.